This video is about where to search for internships. If you are a beginner, you want to start with the internships and then you want to go to the jobs. That's a very good idea because you get a lot of experience uh, than what you studied in your college or institute or anything it can be. Like when compared to the experience, real time experience that you're getting is so different and you'll get to learn a lot of things new things let's get into the video i want to mention three things here number one what are the attributes that differentiate you from others as a intern how can you stand out and the next one is what are my suggestions to improve yourself as a intern to get into that for the first question what are the attributes differentiate yourself from others as an intern how can you stand out for this you need to start doing your projects which is half fancy and half it can be totally out of care. So you should concentrate a lot on how can you, how are you going to explain the project, how difficult the problem was and how did you solve it and gave us a very simple solution. How you can stand out from the crowd is what the most important thing here. I'm going to mention five attributes here, note it down and you should have at least two of them in your profile. Why I'm saying this is because all of the five might not be required. Sometimes it might be required in a very uh, first tier or second tier companies, but for the startups or internships or going for the beginner jobs, any two of this is enough. Number one, your schooling or college. So where did you study? What did you study? So based on the school uh, you have mentioned in your profile and they'll be able to get what kind of mentoring you'd have got. So they'll judge you with that. Number two, illustration skills. So of course, you will be able to hide your design thinking skills if you had a good visual skills. So this is a very important one. If you have, then you will you will get a chance there as an intent. Uh, even though you don't have a good design thinking skills, you can able to manage on both. Like if you are having you, once you enter into it, you can learn the design thinking skills skills from the group or the team that you're working with. Number three, motion skills. So it is all about the prototypes, like how you are going to manage with the high fidelity prototypes when it comes to presentation or something. In that case, you should be able to uh, do some sort of micro interactions, learn some small micro interactions like a loading screen or it can be moving interactions in the any of the elements in your websites or your UI screens. It can be anything. It will be impressive for the hire. Number four, impactful design project. Uh, take some social cause or uh, select a community to work on and have a group uh, maybe you can work in a team like on your volunteership you have to do this with your project like you can do with your friends or someone you can select in the community in a design community you can start doing with the you can say uh, you can explain the projects during the interviews or internships you can explain it as like a, it's a community project we started like as you have initiated a lot of things as by yourself so they'll of course consider this uh, because doing the project alone might not get you to learn a lot of things so they will try to understand that you have took a step on before itself uh, to make yourself stand out number five unicorns unicorns are uh, someone that is having a strong programming skills a lot of you guys were asking whether uh, we need to learn cx whether we need to learn some sort of coding or any other programming for this ux ui it's not necessary uh, as i told it's not necessary for the ux design but if you have the skills this is an add-on to it so uh, if you want to be a unicorn you can uh, if you are having the skills such as programming or design thinking or which skills if you have uh, if you are good or moderate in all this three then you have a lot of chance to get into this field and uh, you are not meant to be working as an intern in anywhere but you'll get easy chance of getting as an intern into any company and then if you think uh, you are an unicorn search for the full-time jobs you'll of course get it if not you can start with the internships and then move on your current interview is the practice of the next one your next one is the practice of the further one and so goes on don't stop until you get it now we came to the last part the important one that is internships like where you can search for i'm going to give all the links that i'm mentioning here in the description so you can check it number one linkedin so you can search for the linkedin as an internship for ux ui designers i i have searched it like that so i've got a lot of opportunities for this you need to have a proper linkedin profile so create it first i have posted few of the uh, reels in instagram regarding how you can enhance your linkedin profile go and check that and improve your profile and start applying for the internships as i can see here i can able to find a lot of opportunities inside india and outside now i'm i have filtered it for only india you can search for outside india if you want if you want to work from home or something there are a lot of opportunities available and the second one is Glassdoor internship postings. The so same again, you have to log in or sign in into the Glassdoor if you have an account. 
then uh, start searching for the internships UX UI designer filter the countries or uh, the states that you want to work with and then uh, start applying for the internship uh, and most importantly you should filter like in what type of company that you want to work with if you are a beginner go with the startups that's what i suggest that's where you can learn a lot and you'll easily get it that's one of the thing that i wanted to mention and the third one is indeed internship programs you can search for the same things uh, as i said on glassdoor and linkedin filter it properly have a good profile and then have a good resume i have uploaded again another video on how to create a proper designer resume and you will get a lot of designer resume templates you can check my reels or in youtube shorts as well for that uh, i have posted a video on how you can get it uh, get the designer templates and the fourth one is uh, internshala internship programs this website is only for internships you can able to see a lot of opportunities again here and uh, don't forget to create a proper profile as i said all these uh, video in all these videos whatever the application filtering system or um, um, manual filtering system they'll notice the resume first so go watch the video if you haven't watched it and update your profile and then that's all you can apply for it. if you apply for hundreds of internship at least 10 out of 100 you will be able to get at least 10 so uh, don't apply only two and three and wait for long don't do that let's go extra miles to get our work done that's all thank you so much i'll meet you all in the next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet bye bye